In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to take photos, add color to them, to create color overlays in Adobe XD. Before I get into the tutorial part, I want to explain quickly what a color overlay is. To help you understand how they work, I'll start out by drawing two circles. I'll make one of them magenta and the other purple. Now right now, these are just two overlapping shapes. Nothing fancy here. But if we select the purple circle and go over here into the appearance panel and change the blending mode from normal to, let's say, multiply, then we notice a new effect. It's no longer two shapes overlapping. Instead, where they overlap creates a new color. If we were to move the shape or make it larger, you'll notice how that changes the intersecting shape. One thing to note is if you move the magenta circle to the front, you'll notice the multiply effect disappears. This is because we applied the multiply effect to the purple circle and not the magenta one. So if we go to the appearance panel, selecting the magenta one and change from normal to multiply, we get the same effect. You can play around with the other blending modes to see how they affect the colors and your design. For example, if we switch to screen, you'll notice how one part of the circle disappeared into the canvas, and now we have a lighter intersecting color. If we switch to overlay, you see how that creates a new effect. That intersecting shape is just a little bit lighter than the main purple color of the circle. Notice how if we were to change the color of that pink circle to, let's say, yellow, it changes the effect completely. This is because there are two different colors and they will react differently depending on the blending mode. If we try out Lighten, you'll notice that that creates a different effect too. And again, notice how changing the color will also change the effect. Let's switch back to Multiply and notice how the circle returns, but it's just that intersecting shape that is now darker based off of how the two colors interact with each other. Okay, so now that we have a basic understanding of what blending modes are and how to create a multiply effect, let's apply this to design. Starting with a blank artboard, let's use the rectangle tool to draw a rectangle the same size of our artboard. We'll remove the border and let's add a photo here. You can just drag and drop a photo into this shape. Since we are using the rectangle to house the photo, like a mask, if you double click into it, you'll notice that you can change the position and the size of the photo. With the rectangle tool, again, we will draw another rectangle the same size of the artboard, remove the border, and now let's change this one to a color. I'm going to start off with a shade of green. Just like before with the circles, we are going to select this rectangle and in the appearance panel, switch from normal to multiply. Notice how this blending mode affects the photo. Most of the time, the multiply effect will make your photo look a lot darker. If you wanted to lighten it, you could adjust the opacity and see how that affects it. You'll also want to play around with some of the other blending modes just to see how the color interacts with the photo. Maybe there's one that looks better. You can also try changing the fill color of your shape to see how a different color combination might interact with it. Moving forward with the design, I'm going to stick with the multiply blend mode, but adjust the opacity to around 65%. Now let's start to add some design elements to this. Tap T on your keyboard to bring up the text tool and type out some text for a headline. For my typeface, I'm using DIN alternate. I'll add a rectangle shape and create rounded corners by pulling in the circle until it creates this pill shape. This will be a button. Of course, we need to add some text so that someone knows that this is a button. Change the color to go with the background color. 
And I think I might try to make this CTA a little bit more descriptive. Instead of just learn more, maybe it's join a meditation group, if this were a mock-up for a meditation app. To make this look like it's part of a website landing page, let's add some text that will be the menu items. So an about, contact, and home button. And to help a user know that they should scroll down to learn more, I'm using the pen tool to draw out an arrow. This will signify to the user that they should scroll down to learn more. And with just a few design elements and using this color overlay effect, we've already started to create a nice, simple design. Think about all the ways that you can use this new technique and create interest in your designs. Adding color overlays not only adds color, but it also helps create contrast with your type. Sometimes you want to use a photo for your background like this, but it just doesn't work with legibility. So using a color overlay like this will help elevate your design while also making sure that a user can read it. So that was a quick introduction to blending modes and how to use multiply and add color overlays to your designs in Adobe XD. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more. And also check out one of these tutorials on the screen or listed down below in the description next.